happy Friday. Um, excited for the weekend. So before we get started with tonight's dinner, which usually I'm on here talking about great quick week weeknight meals, um, but tonight it's Friday and it happens to also be date night. So we're doing something super fun. Before we get started, I want to introduce to you my favorite summer, you know, it's 90, I think three today outside, it's super hot. But, um, and I'm a wine drinker, most of you know, but I um, found, which it's not totally new to me, but um, I just started drinking it again, and it's Charles and Charles Rosé. It's from Washington State. Um, it's fabulous. Um, very reasonable. Liquor Barn, $12. It was, it, it's wonderful. So, it, cheers to the weekend. Um, it's a great summer, um, cool, refreshing wine. Mmm, it's fabulous. So, pour yourself a drink, um, glass of wine, and join me. Welcome, I'm glad you're here. So tonight I'm making um, shrimp and corn fritters. Now you can do lobster if you want. Um, it's kind of a spin on crab cakes, um, but right now my kitchen smells like vacation. Do you know what I mean? When you go on vacation, you smell that seafood and um, Anyway, so we have a great um, seafood market up the road from us, um, and so sometimes we'll go in there, Gerald and I will go in there and get scallops, um, fresh fish, um, and things like that. But you can get it at um, your local grocery store as well. Um, so what I'm gonna finish doing is cutting the corn off, um, off the cob. So here's how I do it. I used to stand it up and go down I almost cut my finger off one time doing that. So what I do now is cut a side so it's flat and then lay it on the board so it won't move and then just go around. It's a lot safer, trust me. Um, but we're almost done with this. I've already um, cut up three other um, uh, corn um, ears, I should say, if I could talk. Um, so. There's that. That one's done. And get this in there. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. And summertime, corn, you can get corn everywhere. Farmer's market, at the grocery store. Sometimes you can even um, drive down the road and, and see somebody with their uh, tailgate open selling it. So it's a great, um, it's a great summertime item. And so that's what we're using um, tonight. So I've got my corn ready. I've already cooked the shrimp and diced them up. So what I did was, um, you can get shrimp all different sizes. The size does not matter in this dish because you're gonna dice it up really small. So if you're on a budget or you don't wanna spend a whole lot of money, you don't have to. You can even buy a bag of frozen shrimp. It doesn't matter because you're gonna cook it um, in a little Old Bay seasoning. Um, salt and pepper and saute it and as soon as it turns pink it's literally the quickest thing two to three minutes um, so your raw shrimp is going to be gray that's what color it looks like when you bring it home from your fish um, store or your grocery store um, when you saute it it immediately turns pink and when it's pink it is done don't overcook it it'll be like rubber so a um, couple of minutes um, it's done um, I brought it out on the cutting board, diced it up really, really, really small, okay? Because it's a bind. We're going to put it into these fritters. So that's already done. The corn's already done. I've got half a cup of heavy cream. Actually, it's not heavy cream. It's half and half. You can use heavy cream. Or if you don't have that and you want to use whole milk or really it, regular milk will do also. This is half and half, so we're going to do two eggs. And we are gonna whisk that together. This is gonna be the binder that's gonna help it stick together. And we're gonna do, um, go ahead and pour this in there. And my husband always tells me I'm a really messy cook. And 
I try to clean, I have good intentions. I try to clean up as I'm going along, but you know what, sometimes that doesn't always work. Um, he's not here right now, so it's okay. He doesn't know. Um, and I'll clean it up before he gets home. Um, so um, a cup of flour. You can use oat flour if you want. Now, for me to measure is, is, is a really good thing. I don't measure. I do a little bit of this and a little bit of that, and it always turns out. And uh, my best friend always gets on me for that because she measures everything. And so she says, I can't cook like that, Lori. I said, well, you just do a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and it'll all work out great. Unless you're baking, which I try not to do because it's not my favorite thing. So... Um, anyway, we're cooking tonight, so you don't really have to um, measure everything exactly, but it's about a cup of flour. Um, I used four um, ears of corn, and I have about, um, I would say about 15 medium-sized, small to medium-sized shrimp. I know I'm really bad about ounces and, and pounds and stuff like that as far as fish and seafood goes. So I'll try to work on that. But um, it really is just, they're probably about, mm, I don't know. Anyway, let's, let's move on. Okay, so a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. And we're going to put a little bit more um, Old Bay seasoning in there, which gives it great color. And then we're going to use a little bit of paprika. Smoky paprika. It's gonna make it really smoky and good, and if I can get the lid off. Um, I'm not measuring, but let's do a half a teaspoon um, for those of you out there that are measures. It's okay. And we are going to whisk this together. and pour it in. Actually, let me get, hang on. This is what I'm looking for. Get all that in there. Move these out of the way. So, um, what I want to achieve by this is ask me questions. Um, if you'll post some questions, I'm happy to answer them. Um, and, and as we go along this um, fun journey together, we can cook together and we can have wine together. We can um, just share positive things. Um, you know, there's so much negativity on social media right now that hopefully this is fun and it's not serious. It's not perfection by any means. It's me and my kitchen um, cooking for the people that I love, which is the absolute most favorite thing for me to do in the whole world. So I think food brings people together um, and there's just something about... Um, gathering around a table, whether you're outside on the patio, whether you're inside your home, and sharing food and stories and laughter, and it's just, it's magnificent, it's so fun, and um, I, I truly enjoy doing it, which, you know, which is why I started doing some videos, um, because I had some friends, um, you know, asking me, well, can you, you know, help me show me how to make that, can you teach me how to do that, can you show me the recipe, can you, and so here I am. So there's very casual, um, but it's therapy for me, it's fun, and um, I love to do it, so I hope you do too. Um, anyway, so I hope I show you some tricks, some things maybe you didn't know, um, and that would be a lot of fun. Okay, so we're gonna mix all this together. Hmm. It already looks good, and there's not even shrimp in it yet. Mm. Okay, I made these for my mom um, one time, one weekend they came up. And I'm just going to add the shrimp to it now, and we'll stir it all together and make it. Um, anyway, she loved it. And, um, you know, it's I sent some home with her. She just, everyone loved them. I made them for an appetizer. So what you could do is you could make them really small um, and set them on a really pretty plate. Um, has a great dipping sauce. We'll come to that later. Um, you could do it as an appetizer if you're having people or friends over. That would be super 
that would be wonderful. Um, or you can do them as a meal, which is what I'm doing tonight. I'm going to serve it with um, a light um, summer salad, just some greens with some olive oil and, and lemon squeezed over it, just very light. Um, these, and we'll do some potatoes um, in the iron skillet later. Um, but anyway, like I said, it's Friday. It's been a very long week, and you know, getting in the kitchen and talking about food and making food, and I mean, it's just, oh my gosh, it's just a wonderful thing. Um, I can tell that this needs a little bit more flour and see, um, so that's okay. We're gonna add a little bit more. And we're gonna sit this and just let it sit for a minute. And we're gonna saute um, some onion. Um, saute onion, I don't really care for raw onion. Um, but I love, I love saute onion. We, we're going to do it kind of diced, kind of small. Um, and we're going to put it in some olive oil with a little bit of salt. Um, and it's going to be delicious. Um, usually on the weekends, um, you know, my friends might come up or my kids might come up. Um, and stay with me and I have the excuse and opportunity to cook bigger meals um, than this. I had to kind of learn how to cook in a little smaller version when my boys moved out and it was just my husband and I. But uh, anyway, so that's always challenging. But, you know, we can always take it for lunch the next day or um, leftovers, turn it into something else. Um, this is a very small onion. This is not a very big onion. Um, you don't need a really, really big one because this isn't a whole lot. The reason, one of the reasons we're going to saute it is it's going to make it sweet and caramelized. I don't want to put raw onion into my batter because it will, raw onion is very strong and I don't really like raw onion. So we're not doing it that way. We're going to caramelize it. Okay. Um, so let's get a little bit of olive oil going. I want to hear from you. I want to hear questions and, um, things that you have questions about. I know I've cooked quite a few seafood dishes. Seafood is such a fun thing to do in the summer. Um, so if you have questions about how to cook shrimp or, um, salmon. I cooked salmon the other night. Um, please ask me. I would love to try to answer your questions. I'm not an expert nor a chef, but it's my favorite thing to do. So as soon as these start to caramelize, we're going to um, get them into the batter and then we'll patty them out and we will fry them. Um, um, you can also lightly fry them and stick them into the oven um, if you want, um, but we're going to do it on the, on the stove tonight. Um, anyway, so cheers to the weekend and we'll kind of let these onions go for a little bit and then I'll be back in a few minutes and we'll assemble them and I'll show you how they turn out. 